Hey guys, welcome back to another workout with me video. Today we are doing a very highly requested video. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do sort of at home upper body workouts. So today we're gonna to be doing a completely arm focused workout with dumbbells only. I'm choosing to do it with dumbbells so you guys can do it at either at the gym or at home. And I really wanted to do an upper body or arm focused workout that was really effective. And I find that for me personally, using dumbbells or using weights is just the most effective way for me to tone and build my arms. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be doing, basically, I think it's about a 20 minute routine um, and we're gonna be doing three different sets of five different exercises, taking two minute breaks in between each set. So the first exercise we're gonna be doing is some hammer curls, then we're gonna be doing a tricep extension, then we're gonna be doing reverse grip bicep curls, almost like negatives, then some front raises, and then just some standard bicep curls. And this is really, really gonna target your arms. You guys should definitely feel the burn. So grab a weight. If you guys have a dumbbell at home, grab just any weight that you find will be suitable for you. You'll be able to kind of figure it out as we go along. I'm using um, some 10 pound dumbbells and some five pound dumbbells. I'm gonna be using the five pound dumbbells for the front raises just because the 10 pounds are a little bit too heavy for me. So grab your weights and let's get to it. All right, so the first exercise we're gonna be doing is some hammer curls. I'm using my 10 pound dumbbells. So each of the exercises that we're gonna be doing is for a minute each and then we'll switch. If you only have one dumbbell at home, I know that was my case for a while, um, you can just do it one arm for 30 seconds and then the other arm for 30 seconds. So just pay attention to the timer. Get that elbow off. Got my personal trainer behind the camera who's gonna keep me in check because I don't have a mirror to work on my form here. <clears throat> you can do this either standing up or sitting down. I'm choosing to sit down so I can really focus on my form. Really engaging the bicep, keeping your back nice and straight. <clears throat> Try not to look at your shoulders either. All right. So next, I'm just moving to one weight, and we're gonna be doing some tricep extension. So you're gonna grab the top of your weight, bring it down, just about this far. Bending at the elbows. Yeah, bending at the elbows. And pushing with the tricep. Really pushing with those triceps. So like I said, just find a weight that works for you. You don't want to lift too heavy so that you're using bad form. You want to maintain really good form. And keep in mind that we're going to be doing this for three rounds. So choose a suitable weight for yourself. You really want to try and keep your back as straight as possible during these tricep extensions. One more. All right. Next exercise we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be standing up. We're gonna be doing some reverse grip bicep curls. I'm gonna get my out of the way here. So you're gonna grab the weights like so, bring them up to your shoulders, and then you're gonna be doing sort of like negatives. Keeping your arm, your elbows tucked, bringing them up, and slowly bringing them down. Really trying to keep all your your upper body muscles engaged. To make it harder for yourself, you can go as slow as possible. Let's try it real slow. One more. Next up, I'm going to be taking my five pound dumbbell, bringing back my stool, putting one knee on, and we're going to be, this is really focusing on the shoulders, taking it up and back down. Not straight forward and not totally out to the side perpendicular, just somewhere in the middle. 
we're hitting this muscle right here. Right here, we're getting this strong. Really try and control on the way down. And we're gonna switch here. I should have switched earlier. <laughs> gonna do the other side. Not paying attention to my clock. All right. All right. Last exercise, I'm gonna be grabbing my 10 pound dumbbells. I'm gonna be doing just some straight bicep curls. Keeping the elbows tucked into your sides. Keeping a straight back, your shoulder blades tucked down your back. Really focusing on engaging the bicep. Engaging the core as well. Keeping your back straight. Not using your body to lift. If you have to use your body to lift. That means it's too heavy. Means it's too heavy. You can take it one at a time, or you can do both. Just remember to keep the control and breathe. Ten seconds. One more. All right. So now we're gonna be taking a two minute break and then we're gonna repeat that whole sequence once again. So try to keep this an active rest. Keep your arms moving around. Take some water if you need to. <clears throat> so the, this workout routine is really great for if you're kind of like a newbie to the gym and you want to start using free weights, you want to get into the gym but you're not really sure what to do, you don't feel super comfortable going in there, this one's really great. You can practice it at home and then take it to the gym with you and I'm kind of here doing it real time with you so you're not working out by yourself. <laughs> One more minute. And we're gonna go straight into, back into our hammer curls. You can even do some arm stretches too at this point. Like this? Yeah. Stretch out those triceps. I like to do this. This really stretches my biceps. <clears throat> also feel free to add weight weight each time <coughs> we do a new set. Yeah, you can definitely start out light and then increase yeah, yeah. the weight each set. Alright, 15 seconds, here we go. 10. Alright, let's do the second round. Keep that back straight. Really lift only with the bicep. Try not to lift with your shoulder. Keep your shoulder straight, tucked down into the back, just using the bicep. Take it as slow as you need to. You don't need to keep up with a certain pace. Just do what works best for you. seconds. Keep your left arm straight. My left arm is my weaker arm. <laughs> Last one. Alright, putting one weight down, we're going to grab it above our heads and do some tricep extensions. Really try and focus on the tricep muscle. 
engaging it, and you bring it to the top. Slowly controlling as you bring it back down. And if you're a newbie, you'll, you'll really find that sweet spot when you try it your first time. Ten more seconds. One more. Into our reverse bicep curls. So our negatives. Up to our chest. Slowly bring it down. Keeping the elbows tucked.
All right, so this is our last round. So I want you guys to really get in the zone. Really get as many reps in as you can. We only have five minutes. Yes, only five minutes left of this entire workout, so. Starting again with our hammer curls. In 15 seconds. Breathing is very important when you're lifting weights. Exhaling when you're engaging your muscle. Keeping those elbows tucked. You got this, only 20 more seconds. Also our camera just died, so we have to... Had to change the battery, all's good though. Keep going. All right, into our tricep extensions. Keep the back nice and straight, tucking the shoulder blades down into the back, squeezing at the top. Seconds go all out on it. Last couple reps. Push it. One more. One more. Okay. Into our reverse bicep. Negative curls. Remember to keep those elbows tucked. Try not to lift with your back or your shoulders. Keep it nice and controlled on the way down. 15 seconds.
in, get in as many reps as possible. Last minute of this arm workout.